Okay, it's Wednesday, April 13th. Uh, I made some major strides in the last few days in terms of pain, pain management. Took one Oxy, one Tylenol every four hours yesterday. Today the plan is to take uh, two Tylenol every four hours um, and kind of see how I do. Uh, evaluate by the time I get to bed. And I haven't been able to go out and take a walk like I've wanted because uh, I feel a little bit woozy and stuff from uh, from the pain meds. But with no pain meds, I'm going to try and do actually a lot of walking today. Um, so first plan or first route, I think, is going to be to walk to QFC, but I'm going to take a long way. Uh, just be able to, uh, it's going to be a little under two miles round trip. Jenny's got some stuff for me to do too, so I got to mail a letter and uh, make a call and a couple calls actually. All right, I'll keep you updated. Um, first, we're going to take our meds. Here's what we've got. Half a rice cake, two Tylenol. Let's see how Okay, we're gonna see how much faster we can do this. How about that? No wincing, I don't think. Kept my shoulder in place. That was awesome. Here's another new one we can try. I have not put on socks yet. So, of course I'm picking long socks. Uh, I've not put on socks uh, without help. Uh, in fact, I think basically somebody else put them on entirely last time. Um, or actually, no, as a matter of fact, they did not because I put on my surgical socks before the, uh, before the surgery started and then uh, they left them on during the surgery, so I never actually had to put them back on. Um, and then Jenny took them off for me that night, so didn't even have to mess with it. But it looks like this is going okay. Better than anticipated. So again, yeah, the plan, I'm going to take the long route to QFC. It's a little under two miles round trip doing it that way. And Stella's getting up close and personal with the camera. Uh, so... Yeah, we're gonna do that. We gotta mail something. We gotta find a handyman. We gotta buy Zozo some berries. So we got a lot we gotta go do. It's good, I'm happy to get out of the house. Oh, and I took two, as you saw, two Tylenol. Didn't have to worry about anything. I'm getting better at the sling, too. Gotta be careful when I reach across my body. Because if I turn my shoulder, my body just, ugh hurts so bad. All right. All right, we are leaving the house for, our, for, for the first time unassisted since surgery. I got my beats in, nice little walk. Beautiful day outside, a little bit chillier than I would want, but uh, we'll walk a little fast and keep ourselves warm. Um, it's a little before 11, so should be, I'm figuring a little under two miles. You know, if I walk, uh, Three miles an hour we should have this definitely wrapped up within an hour that includes shopping time waiting at lights things like that so i will check in in a bit all right we're right on time right now it's uh, just before noon it's about 11 45 and we got that big hill to scale not too bad and then we'll go over our groceries but let's do the hill this is the hill i usually uh, will take zoe on in her pink car and push her up at like a sled push but now it's just me by myself. It doesn't look like much, but that grade suddenly gets a little bit harder. Not bad, we're to our street. All right, we'll check in in a minute. Okay, we're back at home. Moment of truth. How much did we just walk? 4,578 steps. So good for 1.83 miles, and we climbed five floors. Not bad at all. What did we get from the store? All right, we got some shreds for our taco bowls tonight. We got some strawberries for the gooey Zozo. She loves strawberries. We got a little bit of chicken. I've got some that's frozen, but I wanted to have something uh, to eat today and tomorrow. We got some frozen blueberries. Ooh, and some frozen peaches. And these are both for uh, uh, for some sorbet. And then I needed to get some new tweezers for my unibrow because I 
apparently ruined my other tweezers on my trip to Dallas. I tried to straighten them out, but they're just like, they're too bent. I can't get anything out. Yes, I've moved out. Yes, I fixed it. I don't think that's a bad thing. So uh, we're going to make some food, and uh, we'll check in in a minute. All right. We are going to stir fry some mother freaking chicken. If you're not using a set of scissors to do uh, a lot of your cooking, or at least your work in the kitchen, you are losing. So right now my arm is out of the sling. I'm supposed to just extend it uh, four times per day as a part of, uh, I gotta make sure that my elbow is still moving, my wrist is still moving. I just can't have any movement on my shoulder. So, here's what we're gonna do. Since I can't really move my shoulder at all, cutting is extremely hard. But we can at least use scissors and we can cut up some of this chicken and make it a little bit more manageable. All right, looks like we're pretty good here. And then we just take this knife and we put it right back in the butcher block. Just kidding. We're gonna put it in the sink, of course. Wash our hands. Got a little bit of sizzle, that's what we want. mix up this chicken and then we're going to throw in some uh, frozen vegetables and I'll show you what it looks like when I add them. All right, we're going to put some of this away for tomorrow. So that is what we're left with, still quite a bit. And then what, just a little bit more. And then we're going to add this, uh, it's about half a bag of asparagus stir fry. Put it all in there. Start mixing it all together. We're gonna add some of this uh, Annie Chun's gluten-free teriyaki sauce. Just a light coating. Ooh. In case you didn't see what I did there, I learned this trick from some people on Instagram. When you got one arm, put the bottle between your legs, and then you twist. All those squats comes down to this. All right, so I'm not gonna use a plate. I'm gonna use this big ass bowl put all this stuff in. The reason being is that uh, to put it on a plate and then actually try and scoop it all uh, scoop it all up so I can eat it would be quite a challenge because uh, my arm is in a sling. So, uh, but it'll be much easier once it's, if it's coming out of a bowl. So um, we'll go ahead and scoop it up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. Pretty full. We're gonna add this garlic chili sauce to it. Give it a little bit of hint of spice and then uh, I think we're gonna ice my arm. I put it back in the sling, a little sore. One thing I didn't think about with all that uh, walking, and it wasn't a ton of walking, um, it's just kind of the, just a subtle motion that your shoulder makes. Uh, nothing too bad, um, but you know, it, it does ache a little bit. So uh, we're gonna eat this and then I'm gonna ice it. I'm gonna look for the handyman, make Zoe's uh, appointment that Jenny wanted me to make, um, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. I just ate the world's hottest chicken. I think I put in too much hot sauce. But, uh, all right, we are strapped into the ice machine for 30 minutes. I'm gonna give myself some good recovery time. All right, that concludes uh, today, day six, uh, post-op. So, we got a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna do some filming tomorrow, and then I think in a couple of days, um, I'll have the video out. But uh, basically, tomorrow is going to include the uh, seven-day post-op appointment. I think I'm gonna be getting out my stitches then. That'll be great. Uh, and then I got my first physical therapy appointment. It's gonna be a uh, range of, I'm not gonna be doing any active range of motion. So I think it'll just be basically stretching me um, and then breaking up some scar tissue, basically kicking my ass for about an hour. So uh, we'll talk about that at some point, either tomorrow or the next day. And I uh, hope you guys like the video.